Good afternoon and welcome to Soap Recovery number 10. Unfortunately, Soap Recovery number 9 suffered technical difficulties <laughs> and so therefore I go ahead. Um, so I'm working on this a soap I, I designed for the first time. Well, I guess I designed the other ones, but this one I really had a vision in mind. It turned out so much better than I thought. So I'm going to uh, show you that and then while I work I will go back and get a couple samples of what was in soap recovery number 10 um, beautiful soap really enjoyed it but uh, somehow it oh, would only show on YouTube for about maybe a minute or two and then the rest of the video would not work and I tried to load it again so it has to be something some glitch or something that I did so the soap I'm doing today is called very nightly okay very nicely don't you like it all right, I enjoyed it. I um, I used my berry molds, the cherry, the blueberry, um, the especially the black raspberry and the small raspberry. I really enjoyed it. Um, it came out. They came up so great. It was a challenge to try and get that really dark black raspberry um, color. So I added a bit of dark blue into the um, glycerin embeds and that I think really resulted in them really looking like blackberries and the blueberries and the raspberries and everything it was just a fun soap to make I scented it with sorry I scented it with crafters choice black raspberry vanilla I'm so sorry I should have had that prepared but I didn't all right, so I'm going to take it out of its mold. It's been about 48 hours. I had a wedding yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to take it out of its mold. But now that I'm home, I'm ready. I was really excited. I used a certain technique. I'm not sure how it's going to work, how it's going to come out. But the technique I used was I wanted... Um, I noticed that my drop swirls, that they don't really go all the way down to the bottom. And I really wanted them to do that. So what I did was, I um, uh, poured the mold half full with my, um, with my uh, mixture, my soap mixture. I, I poured it half full and then I um, did my drop swirl and then I layered the next layer of half of the um, the white and then drop swirls on that and then did a pattern. I don't know. We'll see. I'm learning. All right. In the meantime, on a personal front, I got my house ready for showing. Um, I finished, I think, as much as I know how to do. And so um, we'll see. All right. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to cut my loaf almost in half so I can manage it better. Let's see. I knew these embeds were going to be tricky to avoid, so let's see how I do. Oh, not too bad. Uh, on the left. <sighs> yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I was trying to get for a long time. All right. Um on the the last video that you, you, know, you get a chance to see um, my strop swirl only went down so far let me grab a couple pieces of those to see show you what I'm talking about all right I under under I wound up with some magnet really wonderful pieces of soap but unfortunately See how my drop swirl only went so far down. Oh, chocolate cashmere. Amazing pants. And my friends, you'll be getting a piece as time goes by. It, they will be ready on Mother's Day weekend. And I'll see what I can do. I guess I'm having a little bit of the white titanium didn't quite, you know. But I'm not a professional. I'm just having fun. The teddy bears and the hearts and everything. All right, chocolate, cashmere, fabulous. So this is called Berry Nicely. And I just wanted to make a soap 
and I was inspired by all the berry um, berries that I have. So let's see. Oh, this is going to be tricky because I lined my embeds up, but best laid best laid plans. So I'm just going to cut a couple pieces because once again, uh, my stuff is about recovering. I went to my uh, 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 I guess my ooh. My brainstorming group, my group that I would talk about life goals and what we want to be working on. And I felt really good because everything I had put down, even though it was hard, um, I did. And now it's just really up to the universe and God and, um, to when the house will sell and then we'll move on. And I had a wonderful moment with my daughter where I was telling her how I couldn't soap, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't sew, I couldn't quilt, I couldn't do anything. And she said, let me remind you of the talks that you have given to me about when there's a downtime take it because life is coming for you so i thought that you know i i'm living and waiting for someone to purchase my home so i can get smaller but i'm not even really thinking about what that will actually mean how much work it will be to move from one house to another so she enjoyed telling it to me and i took it because i was due because i've been pretty um been giving out that advice pretty strongly so I was open to it, to my eldest giving it back to me, and she sure did enjoy it. All right, so let's cut another piece, see how it goes. All righty. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at that. I think I love this technique. Plus the berries. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I love this. I really don't know how I'm going to have to be able to stop. Um, I find that now that I am soaping cleaner, like there's a lot less to clean up, um, I'm feeling good about my technique. Uh, once again, thank you to uh, Royal Apple um, Berry for the idea about soaping cold or at room temperature. I really like that. It takes some of my anxiety away because I'm not in so much of a hurry before I have, oh my, oh my yes, oh my yes. Um, I'm not so anxious about, um, about it seizing. And then on top of that, um, I'm just enjoying the craft. I really am. I've had several requests for people to buy it. And I've met with a couple of soapers at the local um, uh, open air market and I bought their soap because I want to support them. I don't want to sell. I want to keep enjoying this the way it is. There's other things I sell and um, I don't have anything against that. It's just I really kind of want to keep this for me and my ministry and I want to surprise people with a good piece of soap and I, um, I want something that's light and lovely, and, and this is turning out to be really fabulous. Now, I'm not exactly how I'm going to sure, sure how I'm going to do this with this big honking blackberry. Not in the right place. That somebody didn't get that right, but you got that right. <laughs> oh, I'm so very happy. All right. Uh, what I learned is to be patient, to try this again. You know, I had a couple epic, I had at least two epic um, soap fails. No, you don't know because that was in that video when I was doing these that didn't work out. But um, I learned um, not to give up as usual. Try it again. Uh, review your technique, find out what was wrong. What I found out was going on my epic soap fail was that my lie was sinking to the bottom of my white and blue pitcher and masking itself as the bottom of the pitcher. So even though I had stirred it in, I had not. There was not enough lye water. So that's why when I came back to check on it, it had shattered and separated into fragrance and halfway done soap. And, but I learned. And so I figured it out. And it, um, like most things, you can figure it out. Yeah. So uh, if you said nice things about my soap, thank you. If you didn't, that's okay too, because I'm doing this soup soap out of love and I'm enjoying it. All right, see you next time, Soap Recovery 10.